Hello there folks, this is Barry Tude back with another video and this is the unboxing of Logitech G602 gaming mouse. This is a wireless gaming mouse that has 11 programmable keys that you can configure separately and also has onboard profile switching for games. This is an optical gaming mouse, uh, maybe a bummer for hardcore gamers that it's not a laser mouse but it has 2500 dpi and actually that's more than you need on a triple display setup and more than 2500 dpi is only needed when you use more than three displays so maybe logitech is defying current trends in dpi arrays and using more logic here so it's pretty clean unboxing and everything included in this triangular looking package This is the warranty guide and user information. Uh, this is just plug and play and you might not need to go through all this. Here is the USB extender cable, a pretty long one if you want to keep the USB receiver near your mouse if that makes you feel any better. But technically it's not needed, but hey, in gaming, performance, little things matter. The quality of this cable is also very good. Now let's take the mouse and the receiver out from this. Here is the nano receiver that runs at 500 megahertz. This is not a unifying receiver which is pretty much standard on Logitech wireless devices and that is because of performance purposes. This mouse will use full bandwidth on this receiver which is not possible on unifying receiver. And here is the mouse itself. It is very rugged and on the top there is a rubberized layer that will help in better grip and mouse click buttons have matte finish and sides have rough finish that feels very very grippy. And here is the battery compartment. You can also run this mouse on a single AA battery if you want to adjust the weight and then it has 250 hours of runtime on performance mode and 1440 hours on endurance mode so you might not need to change batteries frequently and here is the on and off switch and with such a great battery life who can about the on and off switch and here's a little button on the top for switching between performance and endurance mode and there's a battery indicator right next to it and here are the two buttons that by default are set to adjust dpi on the fly and there's a dpi level indicator just right below it this is a great mouse for gaming and also for productivity and the build quality is amazing this mouse is built to last and it can take up any type of rough usage so please like this video as it will help me a lot and also subscribe to my channel for more stay tuned later